for the serious gamer. Hey, Next Gen Tactics Neely here, and I have a brand new series for you, and it's going to surround Bioshock 2 multiplayer. Uh, this first video for you is a capture the little sister game mode on the map called Hephaestus. Uh, my loadout here is standard shotgun and pistol. Uh, my perks, or my tonics as they're called, are a leg up, health regeneration, and headhunter. Headhunter allows you to get more damage on headshots, leg up increases your foot speed and quiets your footsteps, and health regeneration allows your health to regenerate without use of a medkit from the vending machines. And so basically what has been going on, uh, I just started up a series on my YouTube channel uh, covering Bioshock 2 multiplayer. And uh, my goal to this, or my goal for this series, is to pass along the enjoyment for you guys. Uh, much like Mag, I think this game is vastly underrated, and it is a lot of fun. There's a ton of game modes to play online. There's a ton of combinations you can you can do with weapons, tonics, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I have a couple problems with the game, and I'll discuss that as this video goes on. Um, and I have a couple things I like about the game. I'm sure I'll get to because. This is about an 11 minute video, so I got plenty of time to talk. But basically, some backstory to this game. Uh, Bioshock 1, the prequel to this game, obviously, is my favorite game of all time. Uh, I'm a big Bioshock fan, always have been. And Bioshock 2, I had a, I had a lot of hype for it when it came out in this past February. And uh, it met my hype. I know a lot of critics out there discussed how, you know, oh, it's not as good as the first one. Yes, the story was not as good as the first one, but gameplay-wise, Bioshock 2 is much better, and uh, the multiplayer just adds to this game, and it makes it a better overall package than the first. Call me crazy, but that's what I think. So, basically what happened, I, I stepped away from Bioshock 2 multiplayer. I played this multiplayer game. Um, after I beat the single player once, I hopped on it, and I wanted to see what it was, and I immediately got addicted to it. Uh, pretty quickly, and I really appreciated it. And um, what caught to my surprise was just the number of game modes that were available online, and actually how well done all the maps are are in this game, and how it leads to just great gameplay and hectic moments. There there are just some some spots on certain maps, like this map down this corridor, where things just get absolutely hectic. And so I have to commend. Uh, 2K Maroon for that, for the work on this game. It's it's another vastly underrated multiplayer game. And so back to my story. Uh, I stepped away from multiplayer. A couple of my friends, um, I don't want to say got bored of it, but they were a little fed up with some of the issues they had. And some of my friends, you know, when they have one little small issue with a game, they'll quit it altogether. I don't understand why. But... Uh, I stepped away from this game. I was, admittedly, I was playing Modern Warfare 2, and I was actually enjoying it. Um, and then Battlefield Bad Company 2 came out, and I was playing a lot of that. And I stepped away from this game, and I let a friend borrow it over the summer. And well, I just recently had a chance to pick it up. And uh, I, I played for a night on my return. And I basically had a return night to this game where I sat down and played it for a couple hours. And, uh, you know, to my surprise, I still really enjoy this game online. I've... I really do, and uh, I'm a little rusty. I will say that this is basically probably the third, fourth, or fifth game. I can't remember. I, I can't remember all the games I played prior to this, but I want to say it's probably the fourth or fifth game that I had in my return. So I'm a little rusty. You'll see some. You'll see some footage here where my aim's not up to par. But uh, as the night went on, I started st started getting a lot better, and I was returning to my Bioshock 2 form, I guess you could call it. So I know that going into this video. Uh, and my video that I posted on my YouTube channel was a Civil War match, or Team Death Match, as it's better known. Uh, and I wanted to give you guys this game mode called Capture the Little Sister. Uh, it was because it was something different, and I didn't want to post another Civil War match. So uh, I elected to go with this. And here's an instance of my aim being a little rusty, and the guy's kind of jumping all over the place and whatnot. But yeah, so I wanted to I wanted to give you guys a little something different game mode wise, and I plan to do that uh, with this series where I cover Bioshock 2. Uh, I'm gonna do different guns, different combinations, different game modes, you name it. I'm gonna cover it. Uh, you guys can comment below and what you'd like to see, and I'll try to do my best to get that for you. Uh, but Capture the Little Sister, I definitely think is my favorite game mode. It basically is a capture the flag type game, 
but uh, the defense team has to defend the little sister as she collects her atom, and of course the offensive team has to capture her and put her in a vent. Uh, and the defensive team, at random when you spawn, one of your players on your team gets picked as the big daddy. And uh, in this game, the big daddy is not as overpowering as you would think. I think that uh, this game is very well balanced, and uh, there's not a big issue with anyone being a big daddy. Of course, the big daddy can take advantage of the game and can change the course of the game, but if you team up, it is more than easy enough to kill big daddy with all the plasmids you use and whatnot. Uh, but Capture the Little Sister in general gets very hectic. Uh, it's very fun. Uh, it basically goes into rounds. I think it's like it goes based off of the first two rounds and if no one's captured anything by then it goes to a third tiebreaker round and it keeps going until someone scores in that tiebreaker round basically um, and there's a lot of game modes guys and like I said I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can it's dependent on what you guys want to see and whatnot and uh, I guess I'll talk about my guns here I'm using the shotgun and the pistol I love both weapons uh, it's basically my go-to combination uh, basically on the shotgun I like to use a chamber that increases the rate of fire, but basically decreases the damage. Uh, I like having a fast shotgun. Uh, I guess call that, um, you know, liking Gears of War a lot. I'm just used to shooting a shotgun fast and whatnot, but uh, I like the increased rate of fire. And then the pistol, I have a chamber that increases the damage. As you can see here, the pistol pretty much kills people in three shots. Um, and so I put a chamber on the gun that increases the damage, but uh, lowers the fire rate. And so that's basically my tried and true combination. But I've been experimenting with a lot of things, like the crossbow, uh, the elephant gun, and uh, you know, every once in a while I'll go back to the machine gun, which is still, which is also uh, a good gun as well. Uh, I like the winter blast plasmid, which you can see me use. I just froze that guy basically. Uh, I like to use winter blast because it slows down, it slows down the enemy movements, makes them a sitting duck, and uh, I think it decreases their defense a little bit. And so I like to use that combination, and it's pretty fun, uh, basically freezing someone and then blasting them into little shards with your shotgun or pistol or whatnot, so it's kind of fun to watch. <clears throat> and so I encourage you guys to go over to my channel. I'm going to be posting Bioshock 2 videos over there, and I I'm, not, I'm not abandoning MAG, guys. I know a lot of you guys really like MAG, and you want to see more of it. I know there are also some of you that do not like MAG, and so... Um, I've decided to kind of split time between MAG and BIO2 as far as next-gen tactics is concerned. Um, again, I know some of you don't like MAG. Some of you may not like this, but give it a chance. And maybe you'll like the gameplay. Um, I sure do. So hopefully it'll kind of rub off on you guys and you'll appreciate what you see. Uh, to get into games in this game, it's not very difficult. There's still a good bit of people playing. Uh, I really have only had two issues with this game since its release. Uh, the grenade launcher, which has homing missiles, which you just saw me get killed with. I'm not a fan of that. I think it's dumb, although it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, also, at times, the game can be laggy. Uh, the game runs off of a chosen host that is not dedicated servers. Uh, and every once in a while, you get a bum game where it's kind of laggy. And if uh, the host quits or has a bad connection, the game will end. But the game's not always laggy. There's certain times that it is. It's not a consistent laggy game, but at certain times you will get a game where you're pretty pissed off about the lag and whatnot. But again, it's not a huge issue. It's every once in a while. So again, I wanted to reiterate that so uh, people aren't confused about that because I know lag is a big big issue online. With this game, like I said, it, it may be like one out of five games at most, which is not bad. I know that's not great, but it's not that bad, guys. Um, so know that. And I got a little sidetracked here. Oh yeah, so back to my YouTube channel. Like I said, uh, I'll be covering MAG and Bioshock 2 on Next Gen Tactics. I'll also be posting videos on my YouTube channel simultaneously. Um, I'm thinking about doing a little bit more Bioshock 2 in my channel, so uh, if I do post one video on Next Gen Tactics of Bioshock 2 once a week, um, know that you won't see two videos of it weekly because I'd rather put it on my YouTube channel and encourage you guys to go over there as well. Uh, lastly, what I'll say before this game comes to an end, and this also goes to my YouTube channel, um, I've basically changed a little things around on my page layout on my channel. I encourage you guys to go over there and read some things. I basically made a list of future games for Fall 2010 that I'll be covering. Uh, it's basically a sneak peek and a reveal for you guys to show you what I'll be covering. And uh, maybe you guys will want to stick around and see what I'm going to cover. Uh, so there's a little sneak peek for you guys to check out some of the future games I'll be covering and whatnot, as well as single-player stuff. And again, I encourage you guys to check out my YouTube channel. I feel I have a lot of great content to offer for you, and, you know, 
Hopefully you feel that way when you go over there. I'm not cocky about it, but I'm confident that I'm there to offer good footage for you and entertain you guys at the same time. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to head over there, I'd, I'd say you're missing out. So go over there and check out the good stuff that I'm doing. And um, hopefully you'll enjoy what I'm doing, basically, is what I'm getting at. So uh, we end up losing this Capture Little Sister game. Uh, it was a good game. It went to a tiebreaker. I was unfortunately, it was unfortunate that we lost, but if you guys want to see more Bioshock 2 uh, footage, or if you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Um, that's all I got, guys. There'll be plenty more coming down the road here. There's the link to my YouTube channel. I will see you guys later. Take care.